Hello class, this is Ms. Augustine, and I am going to do a pre-lab for you for, in this case, specific heat of a metal, and I'm going to walk you through this so that hopefully this helps in doing pre-labs moving forward. So, for starters, you'll see that up here I put in a name. This is the pre-lab for specific heat. I put in a simple heading, in this case my name, what period I have chemistry, and a date, the date. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the different parts. So please note that I plan on cutting and pasting because I don't think you want to sit here for me to type the whole thing, but that in general, we'll talk about this in class, cutting and pasting into the pre-lab defeats the purpose of the pre-lab and will result <coughs> in a grade of zero for the pre-lab. And possibly you're sitting out of the lab. So let me do my cut and paste thing. So the first thing I would do would be to insert the title. So I'm going to insert the title. And you'll notice I highlighted it for you so that you can see there's the title. And then you would insert the purpose or objectives of the lab. And so I'm going to paste in my, in this case it's called a purpose. And then you do not have to copy the background or safety information. So the next thing you would be inserting would be the um, procedure or pre-lab questions. In this case, it's going to be the procedure. So I'm going to paste in what I've already typed in. And I want you to note that my procedure, again, highlighted in a different color because I can, includes detailed steps. Now, if you can paraphrase it, that's great, but you need detailed information. What does that mean? You need to include the size of the beakers. You need to know how much water. You need to know, for instance, here you're using a 50 mil beaker to use for uh, massing your samples. You need to know how much of the sample that you have. You need to measure it to the nearest hundredth of a gram, for instance. You need to know that you're going to be transferring it to a large test tube. You need to know what the setup looks like. In this case, I've cut and pasted the image of what the setup looks like. You're then going to go on and you're going to include everything that is necessary. Sometimes there will be italics, like don't stir the thermometer, the shot with the thermometer, because it will make a hole in the cup, for instance. And then, in this case, we have a picture of what our calorimeter looks like as well. So now you're ready to insert the data table, which I've just done, and you'll notice it is a blank data table. And again, that is what you want it to be because you're going to be recording all of this information as part of the lab. So once you get to lab, you'll have these returned to you by me, and you'll have a Chromebook, and you'll record your data right into it. So now the next thing you're going to do is I'm going to scroll down here for another page. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the analysis and conclusions questions. And you'll notice those questions do not have answers because we haven't done the lab yet. And I'm including my percent error calculation as well. And so now the last thing that you would do is you would put in a heading for conclusions. Sorry about that, I want it to be capitalized. And that would be the final thing that you would need to do, would be to put in your conclusions. And I'm going to be OCD about this and make the font the same as everything else. So now, reviewing what we have here, the pre-lab document. You create a new document. You give it a title up here. You put in your heading. You give me the title. You give me the purpose. You give me the procedure. Pictures, if you want to. You give me a data table. You give me all of the analysis and conclusion questions. There may also be a calculations section when this is all said and done. And then ultimately, you're going to give me your conclusions. I hope that this helps you in writing your pre-lab. And again, this then becomes the lab report document. So 
I know you may think it's tedious and unnecessary, but all of these would be parts of your lab report. So you're going to have to write this at one point or another. So this way it gets you to the pre-lab and then that becomes the lab report. So eventually you would have to type this anyway by doing it before the lab. It's going to help you um, to understand what we're doing. The analysis and conclusion questions are very important to copy, but they're going to, because they're going to lead you through the step-by-step -step calculations. So this is going to lead you through the calculations section, and ultimately you'll write your calculations either here or on a piece of paper, and then you will take a picture of it and insert that into the lab report. So the lab report is one document. It includes everything, the data, the calculations, the observations, and ultimately your conclusions. This is Ms. Augustine signing off. I hope this was helpful.